I finished my ninth power supply to Bedini last night. Uh, there's basically a 48 volt DC fan that I bought from Goldmine Electronics. The Bedini circuitry in there. Um, and that is pretty much it. Um, hot here. Neon light. And I'd like to show you something interesting. Uh, here we have a 12 volt battery and a fluke multimeter. I am putting the leads here to measure the voltage. And we're showing a voltage of 13.26. I'll start it up. And you can see the voltage is going down. Now what's interesting about this machine here is that I can take the output. There's your negative and your positive. Uh, in a second it will light the neon uh, charging the cap that's inside of it we'll let it go ahead and charge showing uh, 13.25 volts it was 13.256 when we started neon, neon light is lit I'm going to take the positive wire that you would normally run to a secondary battery and run it right straight into the primary. Watch what happens. Now watch the voltage. We're still running. Still running. What I find interesting here is that uh, we're now back up to the running voltage, the resting voltage of the battery when we first started, and pretty much does nothing. The back charge is run. The fan got it back up to the start charge and the meter continues to charge itself and if you notice that uh, the fan is still running it slowed a bit but it uh, squeaked a little harder But then he said we couldn't do this, but we can. The secret, I think, to this particular circuit is the high voltage diode that I put in the primary circuit so that power only moves one way for the primary. Isn't that amazing? And run. And run. And run. Now we have uh, 13.27. But you guys might find that interesting. That it continued to rise that hard until to, I terminated the experiment. Or rather self-run is not that hard to accomplish. Thank you. Okay, there you have it.